In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can actually remove unnecessary grayscale from your coloring pages so you can go from looking like this to looking like this. This is really simple to do and you can do it completely for free. Now, the tool that we're going to be using to actually do this is called PhotoP. This is a tool that I've been using more myself recently in my own business, and it's very similar to Photoshop. But the difference is, this is completely free. Now, if you want to come through and try this out, you can get here by going to photop.com. I will also link this down in the description below. So let me show you how you can go ahead and remove unnecessary grayscale. Now I have an image just here. In fact, this was actually created with my ultimate coloring page prompt generator, which is just here. This is a bunch of information that we feed to chat GPT-4. Then we can ask it to create highly detailed mid-journey prompts for almost anything. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description. Now, once that you've got your image, we want to go to download, then we want to go over to Photo P. From here, all we have to do is drag and drop. And now we have this here on the page. Now, what we want to do is also zoom in a little bit. So we're going to zoom in once, maybe twice like so, just so we can have a better look. We don't need to upscale this quite yet, but once you've finished your coloring page, you will want to upscale. Now from here, what we want to do is come to this gradient tool just here. Then we're going to right click and we're going to choose bucket tool or paint bucket tool. We're going to click on this. And now all we have to do is make sure that the colors are what we want. For this example, it's going to be white. So we come down to here on the left hand side, make sure it's on white, click OK. And then all you have to do is go through onto the parts which you want to change and turn white. So now if I click on here, we can change that to white. We can do the lips as well. We can do the ears. So if we click on there, we can see just how simple this is. Now if we click on there, then here, and then go through and do this little necklace part, we can see it's now much more better suited for a coloring page. And as you can see, this is really simple to do. So if you have any coloring pages which do have grayscale, then try this method out. Now, one thing to note, and that is that this isn't going to work with every grayscale page. Now, if your page is highly detailed with grayscale, then it's probably not going to work. Now, I'm going to show you an example of that in a second. Now, I've done this wrong, so let me just go back one like so. Let's click on here. This is almost done, like so. But as I was saying, this isn't going to work with every type of coloring page. Now, if you have simple coloring pages with just a little bit of grayscale, then this is going to work wonders. Now that's practically done. Let's see if we can do that bit as well. Let's just zoom in one more time. Let's click on here. Can't quite get there, so we're just going to leave that for now. But now if we scroll down to here, we can then do the arms like so, and then that's practically done. So now if we zoom back out, we can see the difference. Let's go to here. Let's zoom out one last time. There we go. Now that looks a lot better again. If we now come back over to here, we can see that difference, and it's just much more suited for a colouring book. So come through, try that out. Again, one thing I do want to note really quick, and that is it's not going to work with every type of colouring page. So now if we take one of these, let's go with this one instead. Let's click on download. Let's go back over to Photo P. Let's just quickly refresh that. And now let's just plug that in one more time. And now let's see if we can do it with this. So we want to go to the gradient tool just here on the right hand side, right click, Choose Paint Bucket Tool, make sure you have it on white, but because of this, this weird grayscale on her hair, you're not really going to be able to do a good job with that. So things like these aren't going to be that great with this method, as we can see. But again, if you have very simple colouring pages, which just has slight grayscale, let's reload, let's go back, with light grey scale, 
then it's going to work a lot better. Again, let's go to the gradient tool. Let's click right click, paint bucket tool, and then we can just choose the white. Then we can quickly go through like so and change what you need. So this is just a real simple method. Let's zoom in a little bit, which is going to help you clean up your images and fairly quick. So there we go, that was actually really quick. Let's just leave that necklace. But one thing to note is, once you have done your pages, if you haven't upscaled them first, then you really need to do that. Now all we have to do is go to Export, go to PNG, click Save, and then we can actually use Big JPEG. This is actually my favorite upscaler, but we can use this, plug that in there, click on Start, Upscale by four, and done. And then we'll have the upscaled version. Or we can even go to Vectorizer and turn the image into a vector. So if we plug it in there, give it a second to do its thing, like so, then it's going to turn it into a vector. And if we zoom in on this, everything's going to be perfect because again, it's now turned it into a vector. We can then go to download and click download and then we have that. So as we can see, using Photo P is just a real simple method which will really help you clean up some of your images. Now, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe as well. And if you want to watch more of my videos, then click right here and watch this playlist.